before you eat food in the digestion process what happens answer me quickly what happens before you eat food food is on the table then what you do smell you tempt it tempt it is fine but temptation how it comes through smell, smell right uh. smell what happens smell is connected nose is connected to, to the brains i also been the how it is smart okay smell connects to the brain what is the function of the brain a brain gives signals immediately immediately brain gives signals to gall bladder to stomach to pancreas start building up acids bile and insulin and enzymes to bond fat to bond proteins to bond carbohydrates this is the process starts before you even putting the food inside your stomach can you imagine the how how fast the whole system works and how important is that ke you have to see the food for few seconds you have to smell it that is why if you go for a, a coffee tasting or wine tasting they will smell first mm. then they will roll that comes in mouth <laughs> right they will roll it and then they will take it in right you drink wine perfect so she knows me too yeah obviously it is five something of wine na you see it you see it i that's a whole function yeah, i'm i'm no i'm just uh, opening up everything so, so now first. you know it how it works perfect perfect now the mouth works first thing first what happens when you put the food inside the mouth you get your saliva fantastic that is called lipid gland okay uh lingual this is a, actually a, under the tongue there are glands okay so when when you put the food when you put the liquid it gives you the instant uh, functioning ki kya hai system kya hai body ke andar kaun sa enzyme kaun sa cheez jo hai you have to activate under the stomach so the process starts from here quickly and then when you put the food inside the mouth what you you, you roll or you drink or you chew it right so if you not chew it and if you straight swallow it fast fast what happens digestion what happens the digestion is a later process the food goes from the esophagus first the pipe which is connecting to your stomach right hand side is under your rib cage is the liver left hand side is the stomach you have to understand this thing is very very important the absorption of the nutrients will go down if you will not chew the food if you will not smell the food if you will not make kaim that is called kaim kaim means churn kaim churn hai ki nahi hai ki usko smallest particle that like a liquid inside your mouth it should be and then it should go inside so you can imagine how many people chew the food the processing of digestion starts from here and here only and we lack from here and here <laughs> what will happen down you you get a shock i'll explain you <laughs> you definitely get a shock and because i got a shock too when i didn't know that all this thing science so mouth the chewing is very important these glands are breaking the food in the mouth only very important what else happens in the mouth for example if you eat the green leafy vegetables mouth they have a glands which converts nitrates in the green green leafy vegetables mein they have a component called nitrates they convert into nitric oxide and which is very important from for your cardiovascular strength for your heart can you imagine that very starting <laughs> it is so important what else the mouth happens what else inside the mouth happens how amazing what else mouth has a liquid has a saliva when you chew the food there are a lot of chemicals enters inside the mouth right they can damage the gum and the enamel of teeth mouth those saliva gives the coating to the all the system here so that it will not get damaged to the teeth and everything they will protect and at the same time they will digest the food inside start digestion process inside the mouth and then the food goes inside then the related process happens so this is functioning only on the mouth we are talking about in the brain so many things now after that it comes enter in the esophagus that pipe 
uh, which has a system. Now, it's so simple. It takes six seconds, six seconds from this pipe to enter into the stomach. Six seconds, <coughs> any food you enter. But if you don't have these special cells inside the pipe to the stomach, the food will not move and food can stuck here. Right? So they have a special cells. I don't want to say the name here because it's a biological name, you don't need that. But they have a special cells which takes the food in six seconds from here to the stomach. Now, after when you reach to ha, huh, right, one more thing before this reach to the stomach. If you have, uh, we, we have discussed about uh, acid reflux, we discussed about a gas, bloating, hormone, right? That is a problem of not stomach actually, before this is reaching to the stomach. It is a problem of esophagus, this pipe problem. Why? Because there are special cells, as I explained to you. That if the food is not going straight and properly and proper churan banake uska small pieces mein, then the problem starts from here only. It's called GERD, gastroesophagus reflex disorder. That is called hard bone and that is gas, bloating. It starts from here. So you remember when, when, you, when you eat something, if you eat, you're running for meeting or you're running for somewhere else or a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, remember one thing, or fiancé, so remember one thing, you don't have to eat fast. Or in the morning office, especially in the morning office, 15 minutes jaldi ut jau, but don't, don't do that. Then comes in the stomach, quickly. Now stomach is very powerful. Stomach is the first function is that we have an acid here, HCL. Okay, it can digest the razor blade. Those powerful acids we have in the stomach. But, but with the course of time, with age and the wrong food what you're eating and the wrong lifestyle, these stomach acids goes down. These stomach acids goes down. And when the stomach acid goes down, then there's a problem with the protein digestion, your carbohydrates and fats. In digestion, then the problem starts. Stomach has a different function. If a stomach acid is low and stomach is acids are not up to the mark, the vitamin B12 deficiency. Kitna log ne vitamin B12 apna check kara hai recently? B12 check kara lo. B12 and D3. If you have a deficiency of this, this can be a one of the problem. You have a low stomach acid. Can be. Not. It's not necessary. All right. Stomach or kya functioning hai? Stomach has hormones. How wonderful. Those hormones help to digest the food. They have ghrelin, gastrin. These, I don't want to say the name. These are five, six hormones. These hormone functions is to make you hungry, uh, to digest the proteins, to digest fats, to digest alcohol, to digest carbohydrates. Uh, they have a function of almost every bloody thing in stomach. So stomach is so powerful. You have to understand that if stomach is suffering, your digestion is suffering. Okay, you have a problem with the bloating gas, both of one wala hai. At the same time, down the stomach is helping the pancreas. Mm. Pancreas and stomachs are helping together to digest protein, fats, and carbohydrates because pancreas release insulin. Whatever we eat, pancreas release two powerful hormones that is called insulin and glucagon. Any food, acha hai ya bura hai. Bura kya hai? Bura to kuch bhi nahi hai. Sweet hai. Understand the refined carbohydrates hai. Idli dosa ek taraf ho gaya, broccoli, uh, cabbage dusri taraf ho gaya. But whatever you eat, insulin release. Why? Why insulin release? No, it has there or why it release? What is the function of insulin? There has to be some function, no? Because whatever you eat, the sugar comes in the blood, it raise to take the sugar level down. If insulin release, you will be dying in seconds. You can get in the coma in seconds. It does not release to take the sugar level down. At the same time, the second hormone, uh, the pancreas release is glucagon. When the sugar is very low, for example, when you feel dizzy, when you feel fainting, you sometimes, the sugar level goes down. This hormone takes the sugar level up. That is sugar level up. This is sugar level down. This is sugar level up. So these hormones are both are working with the stomach and everything pancreas to digest. At the same time, where pancreas release 
enzymes to digest these proteins. So can you imagine, can you imagine if we are eating wrong food all the time and if you are not taking care of the pancreas and if you are not taking care of the stomach, what you eating in the, what you putting in the food in the stomach, how much you can make chaos overall in your digestion. Then the problem starts from this and reaches here. I'm coming over there. Just remember that. Okay? I'm coming with the final stage of the problem. Alright, from there now, uh, from pancreas, it comes to the liver. The problem is liver. Now what is liver? Liver has 500 functions per minute. 2000 enzymes. Detoxification. Any, any foreign material, any foreign particle, any foreign things which comes in the stomach, which is not, stomach is not understanding and it goes through the liver, any powder, any cream, anything, any lotion, anything you smell, it goes through the liver to filter out. If liver is not understanding and recognizing the stuff, it's a foreign material, liver will take it out, that material, wrap it up and Send it to big intestine. Big intestine, which is connected to rectum. Mm. And it goes through stool or urine. Rectum. Rectum is rectum. the last part. Stool through your urine and stool. Jo garbage hai, wo wrap up karke yahan So if you eating it constantly wrong food and you're putting the liver pressure, what will happen eventually? It's not easy. Okay, you you will apply everything in one day. Everything, everything is working together. It's called a symphony. Like all together. Now a liver ha liver has a hormone also. Liver has hormone is what hormone is growth factor and IGF insulin growth factor and growth hormone. Two hormones. This hormone makes you anti and aging. You see, so many people you must have seen in your friend circle only, they look aged. Why they look aged? Even they are very young in age. This hormone is going down very fast. And IGF is a hormone, insulin growth factor is a hormone. When you are not eating anything, that time this will give you power. power. Okay, so <coughs> liver. From liver, now we are coming to small intestine very fast. Small intestine work is what? It's very powerful work. That is a work, huh, Ashwata? That is the work of small intestine. So where small intestine is this intestine where all the absorption of the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, sugars, bile salt, cholesterol, everything absorbs inside the body. That's a that's a factory uh, in the last stage of second last stage of the absorption where everything is absorbing in the body and from there the body builds up every cell every cell your eyes will suffer if this is not working properly because it works through cholesterol also what is cholesterol? cholesterol is fat where is the vitamin A works? eyes and what a, vitamin A is what? it's a fat soluble vitamin so everything is absorbing here in the small intense time. Okay, 26 feet is the size. I think three tennis court or maybe basketball court size we have here. That is the size, huh? Three sections. We have three sections to absorption. I don't want to say the name, three sections. These vitamins, minerals, bile salt, cholesterol, sugars are absorbing in three sections of small intense time. If these sections are not working, your whole system collapses. Then comes to large intestine. The big intestine. The last last stage of absorption. Iske baad kuch nahi. Why? Because iske baad see the rectum hai or isse pehle. Agar big, this is the place where absorption happens. This is the place where the bacteria happens. We have good and bad bacteria inside the body. If by chance the system is collapsing from here only for a long time, yeah, gas, bloating, GERD, every problem is happening, then slowly, slowly the problem creeps into leaky gut. 
imbalancing of bacteria is called dysbiosis. Dysbiosis. Then comes autoimmune diseases like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, Hashimoto thyroid, multiple sclerosis, eczema, skin problems. Now, if you go, to, if we go to the doctor, not you, even me. If I go to the doctor or you go to the doctor and you have problem with this, you're not reached here. He will not say and he will not ask when and how this problem starts. You understand my point? You have a problem with gas. He will give you a straight tablet to the gas problem. He will not ask you, always remember, he will not ask you when and what did you eat. Always remember, go to the doctor. For God forbidden, aapko kuch aisa na ho. But just in case if you go to the doctor, if you have a fever even, he will not say, okay, when did you start <coughs> feeling that thing? And what did you eat? He will say, okay, fever, I will give you a tablet straight. So we are, we are just, uh, uh, how do you say, we are clearing out the symptoms, not the cause. The deep cause, what is happening? The root cause. The root cause. But if you see the root cause, okay, boss, something is problem with them. Chewing the food, even. <laughs> Start from the first, na. Chewing the food. So the whole problem will not reach here only. And this is a place rupture after beginning this time, the disposable contact. If people are constipated, remember, your father, mother, uncle, auntie, bhai, hand. If people are constipated regularly, check with them the right hand side here the hip area where the small and big intestines move joined together that is the place they feel pain right hip mostly constipated people huh? so check with the people so your friend circle or anything if they have problem they must be problem here I constipated but I had a lot of pain the right hand side yeah when I joined Vokna during training for more than 2-3 weeks See, that is not only, I'm just giving the roughly idea, it's one of the symptoms. That can be because of the wrong posture, sitting sometimes, third day, I'm going to chair, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit. Yeah, it's a constant pain, constant. No, it's a pain for, because you're not constipated, right? No, I wasn't. So it can be some other reason, muscular reason. Abhi, did you? 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 Last week, one time, I had a little bit of a little bit. Now, I'll tell you what it is. Okay? Done? This is the this is this is the very important part of the lecture.